Today on P-Storm, Sonic fucking dies! P-Storm! Bro, my 14-year-old self would be so psyched to play a game called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, mostly because at the time I shipped my self-insert OC with Amy, but... Whew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Uh, let's see. Hello, my name is Tikka Tikka Slim Shady. Aw, oh, I can't do that. Just call him Slim for short. <laughs> Slim, did I spell that right? <laughs> no! Try a uh, skinny penis. I don't think I could show my face around here again if I. <laughs> Go with the tried and true Mr. P. Oh, but I can't put a. I can't put a. Pizza. Yeah, there we go. Pizza. Yeah, I'm doing it. Pizza. Did I spell that right? Yes. I hope passengers can read my scribble. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job, Jetters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, pizza, shake it off. Pizza, did I see you... Did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you this morning? Ho ho ho, quite all right myself. No feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything all right? Well, uh, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you, my wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. I can open the inventory any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. To <laughs> Chili Dog. Chili Dog, Ramen, and Chicken Cordon Blue. It's funny. <laughs> My, my, my self-insert's favorite food was also ramen. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Chicken cordon blue. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? 
make you proud, sir. <laughs> Guess this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! There she is. <clears throat> wow, this train's incredible! What a fascinating tech! You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. Okay, maybe... Maybe, maybe I should go for, like, Vector's actual voice instead of trying to do a Pee Wee Herman impression. <laughs> I can get used to being on a train like this! What do you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party? This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Pizza. You're sweating through your uniform. I forgot I named him Pizza. Hey pal, can I get some of can I get one of those chili dogs? <laughs> Radio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming round to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Pizza, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their tickets. Okay, got it. Let's start with, uh, yeah. Let's go right to left. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best ju at judging character. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Emmy's birthday, and then I'll hop back into my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho oh, ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Here he is. Here. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare. <laughs> so cold. Pizza, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, I'm good. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. 
We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have, uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a, there's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I studied in Jutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? Cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the motherfucking hedgehog? I promise you an excellent tray on our sti... <laughs> I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Can I get your ticket, young'un? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train's normal. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Uh, I think that's everyone. Yeah, that's everyone. What do I, what do, I do now? Hmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Pizza, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Pete's only gets one of these if they ask. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks looked really tasty, too. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Oh, it's Vector's ticket. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Pizza, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Uh, this one. 
Yeah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. <laughs> Old Pizza here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's rules in the murder mystery. That's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in our power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time in the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Pizza if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent. Hold me off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place, either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Pizza here if you need anything. Sounds good! Absolutely. Will do! Goodbye now! I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. Can I trust you to read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, under the nitty-gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for the characters they'll be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! The birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you're a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably! Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're the business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow's the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yeah, I guess. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's stations marked on this map as well. How convenient. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but they must physically be present with the victim for its account. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who did it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle. Then the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Ah, this is so exciting. The mystery's unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Uh, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? 
Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way there's always a nat new This way there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows the person who no one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, that sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving. It's too fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? I'm slipping! Hold on. I, I can't! Uh, no! <clears throat> You're both awake. Yeah. Seems the train slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds! We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't really recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Pizza, could you hit the door? Of course. Hmm. Seems the door's blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, hey, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Uh huh. I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. So I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, and we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Ah, the wet floop sign. Keeping everyone... Keep, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slept on some spilled, <coughs> some spilled juice at the grocery store. No white floop sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. Looks like it... It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. What do you think, Tails? What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet's gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha! <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. 
how do I become as optimistic as this kid? Hmm. Well, that seems to be everything. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If, if we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? Now I'll keep looking. Find any clues yet? Oh. Hmm. Well, I think I've examined everything, so uh, let's let's interrogating. Hmm. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? There's got to be another way out of here. But I looked at everything. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Pizza, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing on the shelf that... It, there's nothing a shelf could have fallen into. And I'm sure this damage wasn't there before. This train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done that time? <laughs> Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Pizza and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Pizza, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that's been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Hmm. The stick, maybe. Hmm, I'm not quite sure this will convince Amy. Let's give it another try. Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think... What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Oh, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> Guess I'm also... <laughs> Guess this isn't just a visual novel. It's also uh, an action game. Grab the light bulb. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall onto. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... 
I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit with, then? Uh, perhaps this. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick would do this kind of damage? I mean, it's, it's obviously the, the handle of the Pico Pico hammer. Okay, well, I still have enough rings. You don't, you don't need 20, no, you don't need 25 rings to, to know, to know what that handle was from, though. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But what if it's attached to something? It could, like, let's say, a hammer. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off! Ha ha ha! It's as you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and I tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, looking for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow crease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back! The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Well, I thought this was going to be a one-off, but it does seem like it's going to be a little longer than that. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is going to be a multi-parter. Uh, <coughs> oh, God. If you enjoyed this video, then no further actions required on your part. We'll see you next episode.